thing for you to do tomorrow, stay home or plan to go home early. He says this winter storm warning is, quote, a different type of an event. It's going to be a, a very risky situation. And this is one of those calls, frankly, that people have to make. Uh, you either err on the side of caution, uh, and I think that's what you have to do. You have to err on the side of caution. But some folks can't err on the side of caution. Their bosses really don't care what the road conditions are like out there. Get to work or lose your job, no matter what government officials say. So if you have to choose between risking your job or your life, what are your rights as an employee when your boss just doesn't give a damn? Alfonso Canard specializes in employment law, and he's here tonight to fill us in. Obviously, this is a question that people have. They will still be told you still have to come to work. When you're caught in the situation, Situation where you're potentially putting your life in danger in order to get to the job. What are your rights as an employee? Well, we would say uh, common sense dictates that you want to be safe first. That yes. If you don't protect yourself or uh, take risks that are unnecessary to get to a job, well, you won't be there to have a job the next day. Right. So it's important that that you do that first. We always recommend that. Now, there's a difference between what the law requires and what a good workplace uh, does to allow for morale in at the job mm -hmm. so and there's a difference between exempt employees and non-exempt employees so if you're paid a salary uh, your employers cannot deduct from your salary unless you are not working for more than a week in an instance like this if you're out a day or even two if this extends into Wednesday you cannot be docked pay if you're a salary employee Unfortunately, the same under Texas law and even under federal law does not hold true for hourly employees. If you're an hourly employee, uh, Texas does not have laws, while some states do, that protect you. And the law says, unfortunately, that if you don't show up to work, they don't have to pay you. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that law, but unfortunately, that's what's on the books. Um, now, the other question is, well, can they fire you for not showing up? Right. Um, the unfortunate answer is yes, Texas is an at-will employment state. You can be fired for any reason or no reason, uh, except if it falls within certain categories such as race, gender, national <coughs> origin, discrimination, or because you have a disability. Unfortunately, inclement weather does not fall under one of those categories. Now, in the event of, we just had a, a big hurricane here recently, mm -hmm. where and it, uh, folks were <coughs> not only told that they should or could evacuate, but anytime it's recommended that you can evacuate or should evacuate, the law then does protect you. The Texas Labor Code protects employees that are uh, taking the advice to evacuate under those types of situations. But it would have to be an evacuation. That's something right. to those extenuating circumstances. That's right. There are no statutes on the books that state that an employer can't fire you for inclement weather. Uh, that just doesn't exist. What if that employer is telling you to put your life in danger? I'd say find a new job because... But uh, there's no legal recourse there. There is no per se legal recourse uh, for that. Now, there are some distinctions if uh, a company has a policy, an inclement weather policy. The law says that they have to follow that policy. If an employer and some larger corporations do have this because Again, this goes to uh, what the law is versus a morale issue. Right. If you're an employer who is asking uh, its employees to risk their lives, uh, you may not have a workforce that's going to come and, and give the extra mile for you. So some employers will, in fact, have an inclement weather policy, but not all do. Right. But unfortunately, there are employers out there who will tell their employees, you have to come here or you will be fired, despite the bad road conditions or the risk that they face driving to work in a situation like this. Unfortunately, yes. Now, if, if, if you're someone who finds yourself in that situation, you get terminated because you refuse to go on the icy roads and come to work, you can apply for unemployment. Uh, some employers will try to preclude employees from getting unemployment benefits because they fail to show up to work. Well, the Texas Workforce Commission is very clear that this is not one of those instances that would prevent you from getting benefits. So if you find yourself uh, terminated for this reason, you would be eligible to receive uh, benefits uh, from the Texas Workforce Commission. All right, Mr. Kennard, thank you for that valuable information, and we will.